In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Sheets with Python so you can turn Google Sheets into your own database. So let's get started. So we'll continue with this tutorial in a second, but first I'd like to talk about Medium. Medium is a platform where you can find thousands of Python tutorials, data science guides, and more. You can get unlimited access to every guide on Medium for $5 a month using the link in the description. Okay, before we connect Google Sheets in Python, first we have to go to this website, console.cloud.google.com, and here we have to create a new project. So you need a Google account to start a new project in this Google Cloud platform. So here we create a new project and then we enable Google Drive and Google Sheets and we download our credentials. So with these credentials, we will be able to connect Python and Google Sheets. All right, first we go to this website, as I said before, so I go again to this website and here we have to select this option that says select a project. So we click on select a project and after we do that, we have to create a new project. So I already have a project created, but I'm gonna create a new one from scratch. So you can see all the steps that are involved. So here I click on new project and after I click on new project, I'm gonna wait a couple of seconds. And here we have to write the name of this project. So in this case, I'm gonna name it Python hyphen tutorial. You can name it as you want. And once you have the name for your project, you have to click on create. In this case, I'm not gonna choose any organization. I'm gonna leave it as is. So I click on create. And now we wait some seconds until this project is created. Okay, once this project is created, we have to go to the option that says select project. So we click on it and now we wait a couple of seconds and now we have to enable Google Drive. So to do that, we have to go to the left panel. So I click on this option and then we go to APIs and services and go to the option that says library. So we click on library and then we wait some seconds and here we have to search Google Drive API. So here I'm gonna write Google Drive API and then I press enter. And after this, we have to click on the option that says Google Drive API. So I click on Google Drive API and well, now we have to enable this API. So I click on the blue button that says enable. And after this, we have to wait some seconds until Google Drive API is enabled. All right, once Google Drive API is enabled, we have to click on the blue button that says create credentials. So we click on it and then we have to follow these steps. So first we have to select the option that says Google Drive API. So here it's already selected in this dropdown. So it's Google Drive API. And after this, we have to click on the option that says application data. So we select this option and then we click on the option that says, no, I'm not using them. So it's the second option in this question and we click on it and we then click on next. And after we click on next, we have to enter more information. So here is asking for a service account name. So we have to set any name we want. In my case, I'm gonna set my uh, first name and last name. So I write Frank Andrade and well, after I write my name, the ID is going to be automatically generated. So as you can see, here is my name and I have here the ID. Great. Now we are good to go and we can click on the button that says create and continue. So we click on it and then we're going to have some other options. And here we have to select a row. So we click on the drop down and we're going to select the following row. So I click here and we search the option that says project. So I scroll all the way down and look for project. So it's right here. And then we have to select the option that says editor. So this is the option that we're going to use project and then editor. So we click on it. So now I click on continue. And after this, there is one more step, but this step is optional. So we can skip this step. I'm not going to, uh, do this step. So I click on done. And with this, we finish all these steps. And that's it. Now we have to download our credentials. And to do that, we have to go to the left panel. So I click on this button. And then we go to APIs and services and select the option that says credentials. So I click on credentials. 
and then well i'm gonna wait some seconds and after this we have to go to the option that says service account so it's the last one and here we're gonna see our client email this is the email that we're going to use from now on so every time we want to work with python and google sheets we're going to use this email and this email is going to be downloaded in the json file so we can get access to this anytime we want so now let's go ahead and click on it so we can download this client email with our credentials okay after we click on our client email we shall see now this and we have to go to the keys tab so go to the keys tab and then we have to click on the option that says add key so we click on this option and then we have to select the option that says create new key so it's the first one so we click on it and then we'll get a pop-up so i'm gonna click on this option and here we have to select json so this is the json file that we're going to download with our credentials so we click on create and now a json file is going to be downloaded so this json file has our client email and other things that we need to connect python with google sheets okay now i'm going to rename this file and then what we have to do is to put this file in the same folder where our python script is located so we can successfully connect python and google sheets later all right finally we have to enable google sheets api so we go to this left panel and then we go to apis and services and click on library and here we have to search google sheets api so i write google sheets and then i press enter and select the first option so i select this one and then we have to enable this api so i click on this button that says enable and we wait some seconds and that's it now google sheets api is enabled so now we can go to our text editor to connect python and google sheets okay so far we enabled google drive api and google sheets api and downloaded our credentials and now we have to use these credentials to connect python to google sheets so make sure that the json file we downloaded before is in the same folder where your python script is located so here i have my json file with my credentials on the left so i have it here i renamed this file to gs underscore credentials i'm gonna double click on it so this is the file and well here we have the information about our credentials and we need this to connect python and google sheets and with this we will be able to do any type of action we want in google sheets through python so now i'm gonna close this one all right let's start by creating a spreadsheet using python and to do that first we have to install two libraries so we open the terminal and we write the following pip install and the first library is gspread so we write gspread i press enter and then we install this library and the second one is called auth to client so i write pip install and now i paste this because i don't remember the name and well it's auth to client and i press enter and with this everything is done so we have these two libraries and now i close the terminal and we can import these two libraries so the first one is gspread and the second one is this from o auth to client and then we use that service account and now we import something in particular so we're going to import service account credentials so this and with this we'll be able to give access to ourselves to google sheets so i'm going to copy this because i'm going to use this one and sorry i copy this and well i'm going to use this service account credentials and i'm going to write from underscore json underscore key file underscore name and with this we're going to read the json file that we downloaded before so this is the json file with our credentials now i open quotes and i have to write the name of my json file which is gs underscore credentials dot json okay this is almost done but now we have to add a scope to this method so we have to indicate which links we're going to have access to so to do that first i'm gonna write here a variable name scope so i write scope equal to and then i'm gonna open a list and here we have to list all the links we're going to have access to so in this case i'm just gonna paste this 
and these are the links. So we have two links and we're gonna have access to the spreadsheets tab and also to the drive. So these are the links that I need for this particular tutorial. But if in the future you need access to more links, you only need to add them here. So you only add any link in this list. And well, now we have the scope and I'm gonna add it here as an argument of this method. So here is in this method. So I have it here and with this, everything is ready. So now I'm gonna give a name to this expression and I'm gonna set it equal to credentials. So this is my credentials variable. And now we can use these credentials to give us access to ourselves to Google Sheets. And to do that, we have to write gspread that authorize and inside parentheses we write credentials so we're using the gspread library to give us authorization using our credentials and i'm gonna set this equal to client so this is very important now everything we're going to do from now on is going to be with our client email and this client email is what we created before. So when we enable Google Sheets API and Google Drive API, we created a new project. And we also created a client email when we created this project. So this client email is here in our credentials, right here. So we have uh, here a key, which is named client underscore email. And here we see our client email. So we're gonna use this client email when we work with Python and Google Sheets. So from now on, we're working with this client email. So every spreadsheet or every action we do, we're doing this with our client email. So that's very important. So now I'm gonna use this client email and I'm gonna create my first spreadsheet. So I write client that create and inside this parentheses, I can name this spreadsheet. So I only have to open quotes and I'm going to name this as first sheet. So this is going to be my first sheet and that's it. That's everything I have to do. So now I can run this to see the results. So now I'm going to run this. So now we got the message that everything was uh, successful. And now if I go here to the left, we're going to see that we still don't have this first sheet file that we created and this happens because we created this first sheet in our client email and here we have my personal email so this is my personal google drive so what we have to do is to share this first sheet to our personal email so you usually want to see this file in your personal email or your personal google drive so we have to share it so to do that first i'm gonna set a name to this i'm going to name it sheet and then sheet that sure and then open parentheses so here i pasted my personal email and with this i'm sharing my sheet with this personal email so i'm going to have access to this first sheet so now i'm going to add two parameters the first one is perm underscore type and here i'm going to set this equal to user and the second one is role so in this one i'm going to set it equal to writer so with this our personal email is going to have access to edit this file and also to read this file so that's great now if i run this we're gonna share this file so i run this and well we're gonna get an email and i'm not gonna open that email i'm just going to my google drive because here we got a message of success so now I go to my Google Drive and here we see that in the share with me section, there is a new file and this file is first sheet. So this is the file that we created and we can see uh, this icon that indicates that this was shared and this was shared by my client email, which is right here. So now we have to open this and we see that this is the file that we just created some seconds ago. So it was created by my client email and now I have access to this file because we share it. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to add data to this empty sheet. So what we have to do first is go here and we have to open this sheet. And to do that, I'm gonna comment first this out. So I comment this out and comment this out because we're not going to create a sheet anymore, but we're going to open a sheet. So to do that, 
I'm going to write client that open and here I write the name of the sheet, which is first sheet. So here I write this and after this, I have to select the first sheet. So I write sheet one and well, with this, we have our sheet. So we open this sheet and what we have to do is to upload data or save data to this sheet. And here I have a CSV file with some data. So I'm going to upload the data inside this CSV file to this sheet. So to do that, first I need to read this CSV file. And well, we can do this with pandas. So I import pandas as pd and we read this file. So here I can use pd that read underscore CSV. And then, well, I write the name of this file, which is football underscore news dot csv and well this file has to be in the same folder where our script is located and well i'm going to name this as df so this is my data frame and now i'm going to upload this data frame to our sheet so to do that we have to use the update method so i write sheet that update and then we have to use a particular syntax so first we have to specify the names of the columns so this and then we have to specify the data so the rest and to get the name of the columns first we have to write this df that columns and then that values so with this we get the name of the columns and well i want to get this inside a list so i write two underscore list and then we open parentheses so with this, we get the names of the columns and then we turn this into a list. That's the first part. And then the second part is the data. So to get the data, we write df that values and then I want to convert this into a list. So I write to list and with parentheses. So again, here we have the data and then we turn this into a list. And well, now I'm going to put this inside these parentheses. And here comes the special syntax that we have to use. First, I have to open these square brackets and then put the column names. And then we have to write plus and then we have to put the data. So this is the special syntax I was talking about. So you have to put first the column names inside a list and then we have to add this plus sign and write the data. And with this, everything's ready. So we can run this and then we're going to save this data inside our sheet. So I'm going to run this. I run and now let's wait some seconds. And well, I get here an error because I didn't write columns correctly. So I'm going to add that N and with this, everything should be fine. So now I run again and well, here I didn't write two underscore list correctly. So I'm going to delete this and well, now I run again and now hopefully everything's going to be fine now. And yeah, everything was fine. I just made some typos. So now I go here to the left and we see that our first sheet has all this data. So all the data that was here in our CSV file is now here in our sheet. And that's it. In this video, we'll learn how to upload data to Google Sheets using Python. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. That's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.